Hi there. My name is Mike Sullivan, and the reason why I'm going to talk here for a little bit is back in '04, I was asked by a son and his buddy to be the drummer for a Blues Brothers project. Now, little did I know that it would kind of grow wings and we had a pretty good three or four year run. Uh, we played a talent show at Hamilton High School. We only did two songs. We did the uh, opener, of course, and we did the tune they do in the movie, Everybody Needs Somebody to Love. About a month later, towards the end of the school year, we were asked to do to play outside on senior day. And so we did. Uh, we had learned a couple, three or four more songs by that point. And the kids, as I called them, they wanted to keep it going. And our original basis was a computer lab um, teacher over at Hamilton High, and he was leaving. So I told him if I could find a bass player that I could rely on, that also I knew, knew would be a good mentor of the kids, that we could keep it going. So I was able to find an old buddy, an old bandmate, Randy Blades. So we did keep it going and we started playing little dances and things like that. We ended up gotten getting to play some very, very nice events. Uh, you'll see some credits in some of these videos, but uh, uh, it was an honor for me to do it, even though it was a lot of work. We were kind of a quasi um, group affiliated with Hamilton High. Um, so basically, uh, we did a lot of nice events. Uh, I'm just going to mention a couple names of why it was so neat for me to be in it is Elwood Blues is my son Dale and the keyboard player was Danny Sullivan obviously in another um, another son so it was quite a good time to be able to play with them for like three or four years uh, I'd also like to um, just mention one other name and that would be Erica Howard she kind of held the horn section together she was primarily a trumpeter and a very good one at that but she also got, got very good at both tenor and alto sax. So I mentioned Randy Blades. Uh, he was a good father figure and mentor and whatever, and a big help to me as we started learning more and more material, getting more and more shows. Uh, Randy left um, about a year and a half before the group ended up dissolving, which it was going to have to dissolve anyway because we had Erica Howard coming back from Athens, Ohio. My son Danny was coming back from Ada just to play shows. And it logistically, it just got to be pretty impossible. And we had others that were going to be leaving, et cetera, et cetera. So anyhow, when Randy left, uh, I had the same premise. I needed to find another good bass player. And I had also played with a gentleman by the name of Paul Sauce. And... He agreed to come in, and he was with us till the group broke up. There are four videos that you will see parts of. Um, the first one was the one that actually the most of them is from a benefit concert we did at Hamilton High for the Salvation Army. Uh, there we did a outside video at Pyramid Hill that maybe is the best audio of all of them. None of the audio was great on any of this stuff, but it's, it's pretty good. Um, we also did a July 4th concert at the Butler County Courthouse, and it was raining like crazy, and it stopped raining long enough for the city guys to set up tents, and the wind was blowing like crazy, but I'd like to give a shout-out to Artie Yarman on that one. Uh, he did the sound that day and did an excellent job. So, with that being said, uh, we had a good four-year run, and I guess I'll, I'll leave it up to another son, Don, and I'll let him tell the rest of the story.